Welcome to TechUp. My name's Sarah Ingram, and once again, we're bringing you tech news and reviews on mobile apps, gadgets, peripherals, and more. Here's what we have for you this week. We have a lot of info coming out of the Google 2010 I.O. conference, more news on transportation than you could ever imagine, some crazy advances in medicine, and promises of an invisibility cloak. We also take a look at some mobile apps, both free and paid, that were suggested by you, the viewer, before talking to Mark at Brilliance Computer Technologies for our first Ask a Pro segment. Right now, it's time to get caught up on this week's download. Last week was Google I.O. 2014, their yearly developers conference where they reveal what's to come for Android, both for everyday use and the direction of future tech. The keynote revealed a huge amount of information, overwhelming the media in the best way possible. Over three hours of stage time had a lot of stuff to cover, so we've made a summary of the best parts. Coming to developers the very next day, Google, as promised, debuted the L release of Android. We didn't get a name, but we did get a whole bunch on what it's all about, including the brand new material design, improvements to notifications, and much, much more. Google showed us the first real step forward since the announcement of the Open Automotive Alliance with Android Auto. With an SDK open to developers, Android device owners will be able to use their favorite apps and services inside supported cars. The spiritual successor to Google TV, Android TV is the latest attempt at conquering your living room. With support for your favorite apps and media services, and a whole host of Android games, Android TV has every chance of succeeding where its predecessor did not. Not to mention it has built-in Google Cast support, which is pretty awesome. Android Wear wasn't a secret announced earlier in the year, but Google I.O. brought more on how it's all going to work, as well as news on the very first devices to go on sale. Samsung got in on the act, despite having so far remained quiet with the launch of the Gear Live, while disappointment could be felt when the Moto 360 was announced for later this year. Much like we get Google Play Edition devices already, well, some of us can at least, Android One looks to be a similar program for emerging markets. Acting as a reference platform, Android One could lead to much more affordable Android running smartphones for markets such as India. Chromecast was given its time in the spotlight. Besides learning how well the affordable HDMI dongle has done, we were also treated to some new features. Soon we'll be able to cast content without being on the same Wi-Fi network and mirror Android device screens in full onto the big screen. These are some cool new upgrades to an already amazing media player. The big Chrome operating system news of the day is that soon Android apps will work on a Chromebook. Google has done a pretty good job so far of keeping the two platforms exclusive, but it was perhaps inevitable that one day we'd see them begin to get closer. It is a lot of information to digest, but there's a lot of cool things coming our way. Your move, Apple. Find that your family's in need of a new vehicle? Before you sign that lease, you might want to take a look at your printer. Local Motors has been building cars with the help of community-submitted part designs for years now, but in September, it has far more ambitious plans, creating a working, 3D-printed electric vehicle. While it isn't clear how much of the vehicle will be 3D-printed beyond the body, its limited run and purpose means that Local Motors is able to consider some surprisingly wild ideas. They even ran a contest to gather ideas for design. The final car will supposedly be highly inspired by the winner, with elements from the runner-ups possibly looped in as well. The designs range from very sleek to almost bug-like, and I could definitely see myself behind one of those bad boys, but unfortunately, it's probably not something we're going to see soon. Once you have your new car fresh off the printer, why don't you try driving with your mind as opposed to the wheel? A new car in Germany can be steered with thought alone through BrainDriver, a project that's hoping to bring research into reading and interpreting brain signals into people's cars and homes. The original premise behind BrainDriver was to build a system that someone with a physical disability can use to maneuver through the world. As well as cars, the team has developed the technology for wheelchairs as well. BrainDriver would, in theory, allow them to drive by simply thinking right, left, or forward. In a demo, driver Henrik Motzki drove the car with thought alone, hands in lap, and often at speeds up to 50 kilometers an hour. You also get to wear a really cool looking headset when you drive this car. It's really taking hands-free to a whole new level. 
Officials announced this week that a long-anticipated SkyTran system will be pilot-tested in Tel Aviv, which is globally famous for its terminally congested traffic. Our hover bikes from last week might be a little far in the future, but these sky cars are slated to be released in 2015. The SkyTran system uses a series of elevated magnetic tracks from which autonomous two-person vehicles are suspended. Call up a sky car on your smartphone and the pod-shaped vehicle will pick you up at a designated station. It will then whisk you off to any other station on the system. After this pilot, there are plans for systems in Europe, India and the United States. I definitely wouldn't mind relaxing in one of those on my way to work, and it certainly beats the bus. 3D printed cars and driving with your mind might get your blood pumping, but don't worry. A new breakthrough in Korea has you covered with a new pacemaker battery. Improving the lifespan of pacemaker batteries has always been of great concern for developers and manufacturers of the medical device. Currently, pacemaker batteries last seven years on average and require frequent replacements, which may pose a potential risk to the patients involved in medical procedures. A research team from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology has developed an artificial cardiac pacemaker that is operated semi-permanently by a flexible piezoelectric nanogenerator, which is a self-powered flexible energy harvester powered by your own body movement. The number of pacemakers used worldwide hits millions each year, so having a new advancement in this technology is great for medicine. For the first time ever, a quadriplegic man has moved his hand using his own thoughts. Ian Burkhart, a 23-year-old who became paralyzed after a diving accident four years ago, is the first patient to try out NeuroBridge, which reroutes brain signals. The system combines a computer chip implanted in the brain, a brain-computer interface, and a sleeve that transmits electrical signals to the patient's forearm and hand. NeuroBridge acts as a kind of neural bypass taking signals from the brain, routing them around the damaged spinal cord, and taking them directly to the muscles. Previous technologies have allowed patients to control robotic arms with their thoughts, but NeuroBridge is the first that has allowed patients to move their own limbs. The team next hopes to test the NeuroBridge on other patients as part of the ongoing clinical trial. Rejoice, Harry Potter fans! Researchers have developed a new mechanical invisibility cloak that hides objects from touch. No demiguise or bedazzling hex will be necessary for these. This technology from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology relies on many layers of metamaterials and polymers that consist of needle-shaped cones whose tips meet. In the invisibility cloak produced, a hard cylinder is inserted into the bottom layer. Any objects to be hidden can be put into its opening. The metamaterial structure directs the forces of the touching finger such that the cylinder is hidden completely. Now this is only in the fundamental stages, but once I get my hand on this, there's only two elements of Deathly Hollows left. Watch out, Voldemort. Don't go anywhere, because we're only going to disappear for a quick break and then bring you our recap. When